dear viewers greetings in this video we are going to see about the bright field microscope and the dark field microscope uh, here we are going to discuss the uh, working principle and uses of the bright field and dark field microscope we are also going to discuss about the various differences between the bright field microscope and the dark field microscope uh, this is the image of the bright field microscope uh, this is uh, nothing but this is a normal microscope which we are using in our uh, laboratories the bright field microscopes are named because the microscopic field is bright while the object being viewed is dark this is the main principle the field is bright and the object uh, being viewed is dark and this bright field microscope is uh, used to, to observe the various uh, stained specimens and count the microorganisms and this bright field microscope does not resolve uh, very small specimens like uh, viruses uh, this is the working principle and uh, flow chart of the uh, bright field microscope and here this is the first is a light source the light from the light source is aimed towards the lens which is uh, beneath the stage is called as the condenser lens that this condenser lens condenses the white light and uh, this condenser lens pass the light to the specimen and from the specimen the light pass through the objective lens and from objective lens to the eyes through the second magnifying lens called as the ocular lens or the eyepiece and finally we will visualize the image of the given specimen this is the working principle of the bright field microscope first the light from the light source pass to the condenser and this condenser condenses the light and pass the light to the specimen and from the specimen light pass to the object lens which is available in various magnifications like uh, 10x, 48x and 100x and from the objective lens the light pass through the ocular lens or the eyepiece and from this ocular lens or eyepiece we will visualize the object of the specimen. This is the working principle of the bright field microscope. And this image shows the gram positive copy under the bright field microscope. And this is the normal dark field microscope and here the main difference is uh, instead of the normal condenser here the instead of the normal condenser uh, this dark field microscope uses the dark field condenser the which contains the disc called as the opaque disc so this is the image of the dark field microscope and the dark field microscopes are named because the microscopic field is dark while the object being uh, being viewed is uh, bright the completely opposite to the bright field microscope in dark field microscope the field is dark and the object being viewed is bright and in the dark field microscope instead of the normal condenser a dark field condenser which contains the opaque disc is present in this dark field microscope and this is the working principle here the opaque disc uh, blocks the light uh, which coming from the light source the opaque disc blo uh, blocks the light from the light source and uh, it would enters the objective lens directly and from the objective lens only light that is reflected of the specimen enters into the objective lens and and it reach the eyes through the ocular lens or the eyepiece because uh, there is no, no direct background light the specimen appears light against the black background so it is uh, called as the dark field regarding the uses of the dark field microscope it is used to, to examine the live microorganisms that are uh, invisible 
in the ordinary light microscope and cannot be strained by the standard methods. And it also used for the observation of uh, uh, thin spirochetes uh, such as the Tripodema pallidum, that is the costive agent of syphilis, uh, Leptospira species. Uh, next is the Borrelia species, uh, which is the costive agent of uh, Lyme disease, and Leptospira impregnans, which is the costive agent of uh, Leptospirosis. All these uh, rare bacterial disease causing clinical uh, isolates were observed under the dark field microscope. And it is also used to for the observation of microbial motility, that is, the type of bacterial flagella can often be seen in unstained cells. And it is also used for the observation of the internal structure in uh, eukaryotes uh, like uh, algae and yeast. Uh, this image shows the Tripodema pallidum under the dark field microscope. And this image shows the Leptospira species under the dark field microscope. And this image shows the Borrelia species under the dark field microscope. And this image shows the Volvots and Spirogera species under the dark field microscope. Next is the difference between the bright field microscope and the dark field microscope. The bright field microscope formed a dark image against the bright field. In opposite, the dark field microscope formed a bright image against the dark background. And in the bright field microscope, the stained, fixed and live specimens are observed. But in dark field microscope, we can see the living and unstained cells. In bright field microscope, the specimen color appears depending on the various uh, stained colors. In dark field microscope, the specimen appears as bright and the background appears as uh, dark. In bright field microscope, the specimen background appears as bright. In contrast, dark field microscope specimen background appears dark. Opaque disc is absent in the bright field microscope and opaque disc is present in the bright field microscope. Next, the specimen preparation or staining is a complex and a lengthy process for the bright field microscope and it also takes too much time. Uh, but for dark field microscope, there is no need to stain the specimen. The bright field microscope uh, shows the morphological as well as the internal structure of the specimens and the dark field microscope shows the external structure of the specimen in great detail. The bright field microscope is less expensive when compared to the dark field microscope uh, but the dark field microscope is more expensive when compared to the bright field microscope. Next, the bright field microscope is uh, easy to use, uh, but the dark field microscope operating procedure is uh, not easy as compared to the uh, bright field microscope. The bright field microscope does not allow us to observe the metal and minerals, but here the dark field microscope uh, used to, to study the minerals and crystals, thin polymers and some ceramics. And that's all about the bright field microscope and the dark field microscope. Thank you for your support. Thank you.